Have you guys ever jumped on an airplane and wondered, I wonder if my pilot is black, a female, or has mental disabilities? Well, you may have to now after the FAA is prioritizing DEI in their hiring. Before we get into the details, make sure you guys subscribe, like this video and comment, really helps with the algorithm. But check out this headline. FAA's diversity push includes focus on hiring people with severe intellectual and psychiatric disabilities. Yeah, I'm not kidding here. The DEI push is getting insane. The Federal Aviation Administration is actively recruiting workers who suffer severe intellectual disabilities, psychiatric problems, and other mental and physical conditions under a diversity and inclusion hiring initiative spelled out on the agency's website. Let's head over to the FAA and see what they're talking about. So this is on the Federal Aviation Administration's website, their diversity and inclusion push. And under people with disabilities, it says exactly that. Targeted disabilities are those disabilities that the federal government as a matter of policy has identified for special emphasis in recruitment and hiring. They include hearing, vision, missing extremities, partial paralysis, complete paralysis, epilepsy, severe intellectual disability, psychiatric disability, and dwarfism. You guys, you have to wonder what is the goal here? Why is an industry, the airline industry, so focused on diversity, equity, inclusion? This is an industry where their job is to get people from point A to point B safely and on time. And now they are actively recruiting people that are not gonna be good at the job. People that may have full paralysis and the whole thing here is obviously there are opportunities for people with disabilities, uh, but that's not what the push here is about. I don't know about you guys, but when I get on a plane, my focus is having a pilot that is qualified and can safely get me from point A to point B, not people that are filling a mere quota. And this comes off the heels of a couple airlines releasing videos and ads that are promoting their DEI initiatives. I made a video about Delta's initiatives the other day, and if you guys haven't seen it, Take a look what they're doing over at Delta. By now, you guys have probably seen this ad by Delta flaunting their DEI initiatives and their all-female person of color crew. Did somebody say slay? Next time your plane is late, look over on the tarmac and see if the pilots and the, uh, the stewardesses are shooting TikToks. That's probably why you're late to your flight. You guys, you're on a plane, you're 40,000 feet up, you get on the intercom, they're saying the pilot goes, you guys, we are crashing. Thank you for flying with Delta. You guys may be dead in a couple minutes here, but you'll be glad to know that your pilots are a person of color, female, quadriplegic with autism and schizophrenia. So thanks for flying with Delta. We'll see you next time. Seriously, why are we so focused on white, black, brown, nationality, ethnicity? I want to get from point A to point B safely and on time. But Delta is not the only airline. United is also pushing DEI and they are focused on hiring 50% at least female and person of color crew. Let's see what the CEO has to say about this. How is diversity and diversity targets working into the Aviator Academy? We have committed that 50% of the class of, of the classes will be women or people of color. Why? Why are you focused on that? Why do you give a crap what somebody looks like, what gender they are and what color their skin is? You're the CEO of an airline. You need to make sure people are getting cheap tickets and getting there safely. And for the FAA, the oversight committee and our government to be promoting stuff like this is absolutely ridiculous. And people are gonna start dying. It's really scary to see that under the guise of inclusion and diversity, we are going to be putting people at risk because we wanna seem woke and we wanna seem progressive. This is really scary and this is not gonna end well for people. What airlines do you guys fly? Hopefully not United or Delta after this. But as always, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.